What's up, YouTube? You're checking out the Frequent Flyer, and welcome back to my RC Chop Shop. And on this episode of the Chop Shop, uh, we're actually not going to be uh, hacking a quad or uh, modding a quad. This episode is about this transmitter, the Devo 7E transmitter by Davinci. It's a Wildcara uh, transmitter. Now, why am I doing a Chop Shop? on the Devo 7E. Well, this transmitter is one awesome transmitter and this thing can be hacked and flashed with custom firmware, uh, which is called deviation firmware. And that firmware actually enables you to uh, use different protocols with this transmitter. So you can fly a bunch of different models with this one transmitter. And this transmitter is really nice. I mean, trust me, this thing is super nice. It improves, it improves the way, uh, most models fly. Well, all the models, it, it improves how they fly. Uh, when you, uh, are able to fly it with this transmitter, this transmitter is so awesome. It's so smooth. Um, it, it's precise this thing has a lot of different options that you can do like you can if you're flying a, a model you can act in the program and you can actually switch the channels or um do you can do pretty much whatever you want to do uh with the channels and uh fly it the way you want to fly it it has expo and all it has um this thing is awesome man <laughs> you can you can actually fly a quad backwards if you wanted to um, by reversing the channels and switching them around. I mean, this thing is awesome. And a uh, few of the models uh, that I have flown this with, it actually improves uh, some of the uh, flight characteristics of the model. Like the 1000A, for instance, it was it was also it was all always an awesome quad to me, an awesome flyer. Uh, but it did have a problem with uh, it was a little jerkiness, like when you're flying it. Um, this isn't, this is just a body shell, actually, uh, no motors on this, but when you're flying it, uh, it used to, it used to, uh, like be real jerky when you let off the stick, it'll, uh, jerk or whatever. And, you know, do some funny stuff, uh, when you're flying fast and you stop, it'll jerk. Sometimes it made it really hard to fly indoors, but now with this transmitter, it's so smooth. Like, uh, the movements of the quad is just so smooth. That you can fly the original 1000A indoors easily. I mean, it's this transmitter is really awesome, man. Um, it has memory for uh, up to 30 models. Uh, you can save the programming, the settings for uh, 30 different um, quads that you've uh, placed in there in the memory. You know, the settings for it. Um, it memorizes them. You can switch between them when you turn it on. Um, this thing is really awesome, man. Uh, let's see the box. Now, out of box, uh, this thing usually just, uh, supports Walkera drones or Walkera quads and, um, multi-rotors, hexes and stuff. But, uh, once you hack it, this thing, you can fly just about anything with it, uh, that's RC, uh, if it's 2.4 gigahertz, uh, you can pretty much fly it if if it um, has one of the supporting protocols in the deviation firmware. Now, that's the thing, though. It, it all depends on the protocols because there's a whole slew of protocols that um, can be uh, modded. This can be modded to supp support, but uh, there's also a few protocols that uh, haven't been hacked yet for deviation so a lot some of the quads that i have you i just can't fly it with it and it's a big difference i mean um i really wish uh all of the uh, quads i have i was able to fly it with this thing because it'll just make it so much better but out of box this thing so says it supports both helicopter and airplane two type models uh but it supports a whole slew of uh different things more than that uh, support for multi-language settings, uh, wireless data transmission between two Devo 70s, uh, support both fixed and automatic ID assignment and ID binding, uh, USB online firmware update, 30 model memory data slots available. Now, this transmitter, uh, it actually um, has telemetry. So uh, 
it some of the models you can actually see what the battery level is on the uh on the quad um it shows up on the screen and uh lets you know and it even has an alarm on it where it, it'll uh beep the alarm is kind of low though uh it's really low it has to be quiet outside for you to be able to hear it but you can hear it uh it, it has a little alarm that lets, alerts you when uh, your battery's running low. It has timers you can set on there if you if uh, it doesn't support uh, uh, telemetry with the quad that, that you're flying or whatever, the multi rotor that you're flying. Um, you can set a timer uh, if you know how long, just about how long the battery lasts. You can set a timer to go off uh, to let you know when to bring it back. Um, man, this thing is awesome. It has it's seven channels. Uh, but it has virtual channels also in the program, and so you can set different uh, uh, things to the buttons and all, and the switches. Uh, you can set different things to the switches. It has two switches here, um, as well as the trim buttons. You can actually program the trim buttons to like turn off lights or something, or start camera footage. The battery here, it has a JST connector on the battery um, thing, and it has slots for four double a batteries but you can actually put a buy a lipo to go in here and plug just plug it in the, it has to be jst connection you just plug it in there and then uh you can actually charge it from here there's a charging uh port here uh i don't know what this thing is here but there's another port here uh, it's probably a trainer port or something uh that's what i think that is and there's a usb uh port here where you can actually update it through Wakara site, or you can go to Deviation and flash this thing with custom firmware and and do what I do, and hack it and mod it. You can um, there's now when you first uh, flash it with the Deviation firmware, it automatically gives it uh, support for a few models. Uh, I think uh, the Blade, all the Blade DSM uh, and DSM DSM two and I think it's DSM-X. Uh, well, it supports the Blade uh, protocols. You can fly your Blade Nano QX and the QX3D and all of that uh, with it. Uh, but I hear that you need a range mod uh, to do a range mod to get it to uh, have really good range. But I I don't really fly, generally fly my quads really far away from me. So I thought the range was great <laughs> that when I was flying the... Uh, the blade nano qx 3d with it i was getting pretty far with it you know it i think the range uh is well enough for the average person if you don't fly really high or really far away um it the range will be fine uh but it uh out of the first uh time you flash it with the deviation firmware you get uh a few um, protocols that it supports but then the rest of them you have to add modules uh, for it to support um, there's I know of two different modules there's a, a module that you have to install to um, give support for blade I mean I'm um, not blade I'm sorry uh, for Hubson the Hubson protocol and there's a, another chip that you have to uh, install for the uh, WL Toys V2X2 protocol. I'm gonna just let you guys in on my mod that I do for this. The module that I'm gonna be installing uh, on this, hopefully successfully, is the uh, NRF24L01. Uh, so that module allows for you to uh, fly the WL Toys protocol uh hiskey high sky i said hiskey <laughs> there's quite a few of them but let's just get to the mod and uh hopefully we'll be able to successfully mod this one here 